Hi guys, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. So yesterday we spoke about, um, you know, the various different Office 365 search experiences. You know, I did a quick whiteboard session explaining you what are the different types of search experiences you have in Office 365. Um, today is a sit down session where we can actually, you know, jump onto my, uh, my PC and, and actually have a look at, um, you know, do a quick walkthrough of this search experiences that I was talking, uh, I talk, uh, I talked about yesterday. So let's 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 uh, jump on the computer and have a quick look, shall we? So here we are on the um, Office 365 home screen, and you could see uh, you could see on the on the home there's a search bar, and uh, when I actually even before I enter a, a keyword, you could actually see the search results come through. These experience is pretty new and it's actually called uh, zero query results so this is actually uh, brought to you based on your personalized uh, um, signals coming in from the microsoft graph so what is microsoft graph microsoft graph is is, is nothing but it actually keeps track of, of certain signals like you know what documents you're working on like who which team you belong to what are the sites that you actually access quite often you know who's who's your manager you know what are the groups that you uh, you're a member of and and so on there are uh, uh, you know different signals that microsoft graph actually monitors and and gives results uh, and and microsoft search actually uses ms graph to actually give you more relevance um, based on your personalized uh, based on your context so that's that's MS Graph uh, and uh, zero results query. I, I keep getting it wrong. It's called zero query results. Anyway, so this is just one experience. So it gives me an, uh, a list of apps that I've been working on, uh, uh, logging in frequently, the, the files that I've been working on, you know, the people I chat uh, or the people I connect quite often and the sites that I work on at, at the moment. So this is a quick, uh, you know, walkthrough of the office uh, search in Office 365 Home. But again, if you go to SharePoint Home, uh, again, you have a search bar slightly towards the left of the screen. And, and here again, you know, it gives you a bit more context, but this time it just brings in information from SharePoint alone. Um, so here is, is, you can see a, a bit, uh, you know, a more number of sites, uh, the frequent sites that you visit. Are, are, are listed out here and also the news that is coming from this SharePoint uh, um, sites uh, is, is displayed as well again it's a zero query result this time I got it right uh, didn't I uh, so and, and you can you can search for something like you know let's let's use uh, the keyword finance I want to search something around finance and it gives you you know a list of all the finance sites and you could you know refine it by um, f uh, more so like a filter it by sites you know files of people and, and news coming in from uh, anywhere that's mentioned uh, within within the finance sites or anything that's got finance keyword in it um, let's look at what the uh, filters that we have here so it's only a date based filters that we currently got I've heard uh, from Microsoft that you know they're working on uh, giving us uh, more number of uh, refiners so um, so probably uh, I'm, I'm hoping the fingers crossed to see uh, a custom refiners uh, uh, put in here as well so next up uh, let's let's keep in in line with the personalized search experience uh, that we, we are seeing uh, so here is is delve so delve is is again uh, is is uh, is the back end for delve is microsoft graph and here again you have a search experience and if you search for it here is you see is you see in sharepoint you've seen sites take the center stage here in delve the people take center stage so here you, 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 you see a lot more, uh, you know, more number of results uh, in, uh, coming in from the people side of things and also the documents that you've been working on and, and you don't see sites. So here you could actually go, um, I'll, I'll make it another video come, uh, talking uh, entirely on, on Delve, you know, the functionality that's covered in Delve, why you should use it and uh, what are the, some of the gotchas that you have with Delve. But let's, let's stick on with uh, the search experience. Um, so that, that's that's a quick overview of the search. So essentially, you go there and search for finance, and you know it, it'll it'll allow you to uh, search for the people within the finance. Uh, so here is all the one is here is everybody who's working in finance. So it, again, it's looking for keywords essentially, um, and and also you could actually go and search for documents as well. Um, there you have it. Uh, that's that's. Um, the search experience in uh, in the Delve. 
Uh, let's quickly uh, look at a few more search experiences. I'm not going to cover the entire breadth of all the search experiences that I spoke about yesterday. Instead, I'll just just you know touch base on some of the uh, search experiences, uh, show you some of the search experiences, so that you know it just gives you some sort of uh, indication of what I was referring to uh, yesterday about consolidating all of these experiences into one single uh, uh, you know unified experience. So this is your traditional. Uh, you know the enterprise search so to say so this is if you if you're if you're familiar with the uh, sharepoint on premises uh, you know this is your traditional sharepoint uh, search experience so here you could uh, go in and say this is a search center so you could actually go in and search for let's keep using the word finance and if you search um, for finance it uh, the way that uh, uh, search center is currently configured it's only giving you results from within sharepoint but again uh, you know you could use the enterprise search to bring in information from other sources like your local file shares network shares and uh, and public folders uh, and, and so on even other uh, line of business applications as well um, so here uh, in in the in the demo tenant i have here is is uh, pretty uh, vanilla it's, it's it doesn't actually have any custom configurations but you can actually see you know uh, you know it, this is your traditional search experience with uh, refiners onto the uh, the right side and, and the search results with the preview uh, pane so this is uh, again you have you know search scopes where you can actually you know uh, filter your search results by people or conversations and so on that's that's a quick uh, overview of the search uh, the enterprise search let's look at two more searches uh, the other one is we spoke about contextual searches searches within the app context of the app so uh, here, here we have uh, Microsoft Teams, and within Microsoft Teams, as you can see, you know it does support. Uh, um, so here again, you know it doesn't actually support the zero uh, query results, uh, but it actually is, is showing me the the, the previous uh, searches that I've done. Uh, so let's use finance, and and you can actually go and it gives you three things. Um, one, the messages, the, the the messages within the conversations uh, tab. The next is the people tab and the files tab that's about it um, so yeah, yeah you essentially you can just go in and uh, sort uh, or filter your results uh, based on the different type of uh, uh, result sets you have one thing about uh, one thing about the uh, the microsoft team search bar is it is it, 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 it's quite actually it's quite intelligent so here you can actually go and see a um, you know you can use you, you can use custom commands or shortcuts within the microsoft teams so i'll actually talk about that in a, in a separate video video it's quite interesting so it needs a separate video on its own right uh, but just to show you a quick search overview that's that's about it so and i believe uh, this is uh, you know as you can see the search bar on the top um, set in, in the center of the top uh, the top menu the top bar sorry um, that's the sort of experience you're going to get in, in the new Microsoft search. Let's uh, switch gears and go into uh, the social search. Um, by social search, I mean the Amr uh, search within the Amr app. So here again, it's, uh, the search bar is on the left side of the screen. And you, if you search for, let's say, uh, keeping in line with finance, you could see, you know, even before you hit the enter key, uh, you could actually see it's, it's actually bringing in some results. Uh, you know, it's showing me the uh, various groups and, and the topics within uh, within within this uh, within the Amber interface so here I, I just go and enter the keyword and it just brings again conversations it brings in users uh, who are talking about finance uh, and also the groups and the topics uh, that's covered based on the feedback so sorry be, be covered based on the keyword that you've entered um, I don't believe uh, the, the MS graph is behind uh, the Amber search I think Amber search is, is is more driven by keywords uh, but whereas other searches like uh, the office or the office home search, uh, the SharePoint home and the Dell are, are more uh, driven by yeah, MS Graph. So there you have it. Uh, that's that's a quick overview of uh, different search experiences in Office 365. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't already. Thanks and stay tuned for uh, another video tomorrow. Thank you.